Welcome back to another Cleft Lip Gaming video for more Farming Simulator 22 here on Harvalaron. Good morning. Uh, it's just after 7 o'clock. It is absolutely tipping it down. Uh, as you've just seen, um, I sold some bales, I've got 9 bales in total and 2 bales sold for just over £800, so about £4,000 if my math is correct uh, for the 9 bales. Um, my son is out in the field already, uh, he's made an early start and he is cultivating the field here behind the sheep pen. So, we're going to plant some grass in that field, I think, to feed the sheep. Um, and I, I thought the, the baler, I might have made a mistake buying the baler, because I'm going to need a wind rower uh, and a mower. Uh, I'm going to need a mower anyway. Um, yeah, we'll see. Right. I'm going to jump in a tiny little fence. And we are going to head off to the store, if I start the engine first. I'm going to go and grab a subsoiler. So I've been doing my research, been on the old interwebs, finding out how on earth I look after grapes and grow grapes and what grape growing is all about. And one of the first things we're going to do is uh, prepare the soil around uh, the face of the grapevines and then uh, oh we need to fertilize as well perhaps I'll fertilize first then do the subsoil and then fertilize again and that will give me my two fertilizing states uh, I don't really need to realize them uh, so let's grab a fertilizer first how narrow that tractor is. Right, back in a minute. Okay, so we've got a sprayer, a fan sprayer, and we've got some fertilizer. Uh, I've got a feeling that those grapes may have already started to grow, which might be an issue, uh, but we'll have a look when we get to the field. Let's fill that up. Right, I'll see you back over at the field in a minute. Okay, here we are. Um, yeah, they are starting to grow and we are oh, going to need to subsoil and mulch the grass that's growing. Right, let's, whoa, let's get all my lights on now we're in the field, we can see what we're doing. So this is what I mean about when Grandpa planted these, um, he didn't really think it through very well. So, by spraying now, if they were closer together, oops, come on, I could get more than one lot done in one pass. But never mind, it is what it is. Not going very well. I might just mulch, I might have to leave the, uh, the, the subsoiling until the next. Uh, growth, I think. I'm wondering if that's done both sides. I think that came through. Uh, yeah, sort of. Um, yeah, okay. Oops, oops, oops. Let's just turn that off while we sort ourselves out. Right, 
Rasul Lasyah Saya Syafi'i Fi Syawu Fan Fi more um, Fi more rows I think Of great vines um, Oh come on You can tell this is my first time Can't you Come on What is your kind now And then uh, the efficiency will go through the roof because I'll be spraying more than just one kind of row at a time. So, right, I'll get the rest of this done, and I will see you in a little while. Uh, and we'll go and grab a mulcher from the store, and we'll get all this grass cut in between the uh, the grapevines. So yeah, I'll see you in a bit. I just thought we'd have a quick look at the chickens. Uh, they started producing eggs already, so that is fantastic. If we have a look down our animals, <coughs> ten chickens. Yeah, we're all doing okay. Lovely, right. Uh, I've been to the store and I bought a little mulcher. So we'll get over to the uh, grapevines and get the grass mulched up. That will provide extra um, nutrients and whatever for the for the grapes. So uh, I don't think we need to no, don't need to unfold it. Uh, drop it down, turn it on. There we go. I've still got some more of the wheat uh, that needs selling. Um, I didn't do another run to the grain mill, so I have got some more wheat that needs to be sold. So that's something else that I need to get on with at some point. So I'm going to put grass in the field to my left, where my lad is currently cultivating. I presume there's going to be some stones that have been brought to the surface through the cultivation, so we need to look at those. Why is it that? Um, we've got a little bit of a field over there, look, on the left hand side. Which is sort of the, uh, the remains of this field. Um, I don't really know what, what Grandpa kind of grew on that little bit but we'll we'll have a look perhaps we'll put some uh potatoes or something like that something you know it's only a smallish field so then we need to prepare the field that has the wheat in it we need to get something going in that field as well so we've got lots of things to do uh once it's finished on the cultivating of the field next to us um we need to get on there with the fertiliser sprayer and get some fertiliser down. So, lots and lots of things to be getting on with. I'll crack on doing this. I'll see you in a little while. Hopefully the rain will have stopped and the sunshine will have come out. So, yeah, I'll see you in a while. Okie dokie, uh, 25 past 10, the, uh, let's just jump out and have a look, the uh, grapevines are all done, um, they've all been fertilised, they've all been mulched apart from a few little bits, 100% uh, fertilised, growing, so my son has taken a little fence and he's over on the field that we took the wheat off and he's cultivating that field at the moment, I am just going to spray some fertiliser on this field, uh, and then what we'll do is, I was going to roll the stones in, um, but I think what I'll do is actually get a stone picker and collect the stones, because that's, it's a whole new process, and I think rather than just rolling them in, I think if you roll them in, you may as well 
turn them off, really. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to collect the stones, see what the process is for doing that. Ooh, can't see. Um, take them up to the stone crusher and see how much we get paid. I'm not expecting to be paid a lot of money because um, they're only small stones and I'm not going to get that much off the field. It's only a small field now that we've got a, a sheep pen there. It has taken up a fair bit of the field. Um, so that's the plan. Uh, get this fertilised. Go and grab a stone picker. Uh, and collect the stones. Um, and then uh, we'll get some grass seed put in here if I've got the right cedar. I have read on a couple of the forums that uh, one, of the, one of the cedars, um, I need to stop saying erm, um, one of the grass cedars uses, one of the cedars uses grass Right, let's get this right. One of the seeders, when planting grass, use, uses seed at a, a really high rate. So I need to make sure that we haven't got that seeder. God, that was a uh, tricky to get that out, wasn't it? So that's the plan, and then I've got I've got that little bit of a field over there as well. I need to put some crop in that. And I need to decide what crops to put in the, in the main field now, I suppose. And uh, it has the wheat in it. I'm not really sure what to do. Let's just finish this off and then we'll whiz over to the store. And get the stone picker, see how that works. And we are done. Right, let's get this folded up. Let's get off the field. And I'll whiz over and grab a stone picker. See what that process is all about. See how much stone we get off the field. That one's been cultivated. Uh, we'll have a look at the cedar actually while we're over here. Uh, pop that down there. Turn that around. Drop it off. So let's have a look. It was, uh Yeah, I don't think it is that seagull that's the problem that I've read about. I can't remember which one it is, so... Oh yeah, that's the Baylor. That's the cedar. Yeah, that one should be fine. It was. Well, let's just have a look, actually. Um, stop saying them. Um, use this topic. Cedars. It was. Uh, it was. It was. That one, I think. Uh, the Virgin Stack Rapid A. I think when you plant grass, it uses the seed at an alarming rate. While we're here, let's have a look at stone pickers. Uh, we'll get the small one, 25 grand. Let's just get that. We'll go and grab it from the store. And we'll see what the process is. So I'll, I'll see you back here in a few minutes when I've collected that stone picker. Right, let's have a look how this works then. I've uh, got my help menu open because I have no idea what I'm doing with this. So we've got unfold stone picker. Lower and turn on. Lower. No other options. Unload here. Cruise control. Turn it on. Okay, let's go. Uh, I guess we'll just go up and down, really. Um, so that's taking the stones off the field. Uh, not, not, yeah, I'm not getting a huge amount, but... 
and it is only where the stones are visible so it's not like it's digging any other stones up so that's good then um right okay It's take quite a while to go over this field, doesn't it, with this little machine. What I may do, uh, when I... You should stop saying, um. What I may do when I've done this field is follow my lad on the other field in the cultivator. I mean, the cultivator's only three metres wide. I think this... This doesn't look much wider, really. I'm making the right meal of this, aren't I? Right, okay. Because it... Oh, but I suppose I'm going quite a lot quicker, though, aren't I? So I'm, I'm going to catch him up if I do that. I need to get some crop in the ground, really. Something that I've learnt today as well, uh, I was watching the uh, Mr. Silly P do the stream today. And I watched a bit of his stream at lunchtime, and he was saying about the contracts. Now, you know, a lot of people have said that the contracts are broken, uh, the harvesting contracts in particular being broken. And it turns out that it seems to be the harvest contracts for crops that leave straw behind on the ground. So if it's a contract for oats or wheat or barley then you won't be able to complete your contract because you don't get enough crop off the field. However, if it's a non, you know, a, a different type of crop, so let's go with uh, canola or soybean then you should or potatoes or you know anything like that you should be able to complete the contract because it doesn't it, they're not leaving straw behind so that's something that i need to keep an eye out for if there are any contracts that crop up for those particular crop types and you know if it if it's oats wheat um barley and sorghum i think that leaves straw behind as well doesn't it if there's any of those we'll avoid those and we'll just do the kind of canola uh sunflower corn uh those, those kind of contracts so so there you go passing on a little bit of knowledge right i've got a bit of work to do i'm, I'm making a right meal of this I'll see you in a few minutes when I finish this field and we'll see how much stone we've got and then I might whiz over to the stone crusher and see how much I get for it so it won't be a lot because I'm not getting a lot really so yeah I'll see you in a few minutes right so I'm here at the animal dealership because this is where the stone crusher is apparently around the back here somewhere Uh, I can see, I can see uh, an icon thingy. There we are. I assume I just pull up by the side of it here. There we go. So I've got 525 litres of stones off that one field. I'm not expecting to get paid a huge amount for this. I'm expecting it to be really low and what I may do in future is keep collecting the stones until I've got until the, the stone collector is full and I've got a full load to bring over rather than doing it like I am now and bringing it over from one field but let's overload and see what we get thirty eight quid 
38 measly pounds. Well, it's yeah, that's free money, I suppose. Um, hasn't quite offset the cost of the stone picker yet at 25,000 pounds, but never mind. Ooh, earn myself a little trophy as well. So, right, I'm going to head back to the farm and we'll start getting some crops in the ground. So if that was that was about 20% full. And it was 38 pounds. So times that by five. Not a lot, is it? So about 150 quid, 160 quid for a full load. That's pathetic. <laughs> That's going to take me a long time to recoup the cost of the actual stone picker. I was driving on the wrong side, right? Yeah. Not really worth it, is it? Right, okay. Uh, I'll get back to the farm and we'll start planting some, some crops. I'll see you in a minute. Right, let's see how quickly the seed runs out in this cedar. Um, wrong one. I need to pick that up. Why have I got two implements on the back? Let's drop that down and watch that one then. It's definitely showing two in right, turn that on. Whoa. Are we are we planting? Oh, I'm not doing anything, that's not doing anything. Okay. Go back in <clears throat> I suppose the only thing is with grass, you only put it down once. Uh, so, are we... Right, we're planting now, there we go, seeding. Whatever the, uh, the terminology is, that's what we're doing. Yeah, it's not going down at uh, an alarming rate, it's going down, but it's not ridiculously fast, so I think we're, we're okay with that. What we'll do is we'll get a few, you know, kind of go around the outside, and then we'll get the rest of it done. So I've got quite a fair bit done in this episode, we've sorted all the grapes out, had this field cultivated, sprayed, picked all the rocks off it, and now we're seeding. So what I'll do between now and the next episode, I'll probably do a few contract work, uh, you know, kind of spraying work or something like that, I think, just to try and get a bit of money in, because I'm very conscious that I'm spending money way quicker than what I'm making it. I have still got that some wheat in the silo to sell, so I do need to sort that out still. But I'll probably do a few spraying contract jobs, and if there's any contracts, harvesting contracts that come up for soya bean or canola or something, I'll probably do those as well. But anything that I do, I will show some screenshots so that you can see in the next episode what I've done. So, I think that's it for this episode. If you could like, share, comment, subscribe and all that good stuff, that would be amazing. And I will see you in the next one.